What we want to do now is model what our digestive system looks like and kind of what it does. So to do that, I've just got some saltine crackers. I have some vinegar. I do have a glass and I put a coffee filter on the glass. I have uh, two bags to help me think about our digestive system as separate compartments. So let's start with the mouth, the first compartment. For that, I'm just going to take a saltine cracker. I'm going to put it into our plastic bag and begin to crunch it up. Now this reminds me that in the mouth we do some chewing. All right, so our molars are, are working to grind that food up. Our incisors bite it off into little pieces and then we do some chewing. But there's more to the mouth than just chewing. We do add some saliva. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put a little bit of water into uh, the bag here for our mouth. And now I'm going to uh, simulate uh, chewing, but this time with some water. So that would be like saying we're adding saliva to the food. All right, but after we chew it, uh, we don't leave it in our mouth. Uh, it's gonna leave the mouth compartment and enter the next compartment. So to show that, I'm just going to cut a little corner off of the bag here and I'll get our next compartment which happens to be another bag that we're going to use to model our stomach. So I'm just pouring the contents from our mouth into our stomach. Now when we swallow, food leaves the mouth, it goes through the esophagus and it does that by these contractions, muscular contractions down our esophagus. We don't have to um, work our food down, uh, our body takes care of that on its own. It just moves it along, it's called peristalsis. It moves the food along into our stomach now. So here's our stomach, and I'm gonna add a little vinegar to simulate uh, stomach acid. So we have some uh, vinegar now, which uh, simulates stomach acid in our stomach. Now one of the differences between digestion in the stomach and the mouth is uh, in the mouth, you can chew with your mouth open. But in the stomach, there's no air in the stomach. If air gets in the stomach, well then, um, the scientific name for it is eructation. We belch. All right, so I'm gonna try to get most of the air out of the bag here. All right, so it looks more like that. And now, I can illustrate the twisting, turning, grinding uh, movements of the stomach mixing, mashing that the stomach does uh, to that food. And so it's going to sit in our stomach for quite a bit and our stomach's going to work on that food uh, for a long time. Generally, it, uh, an hour or two if it's carbohydrates, uh, maybe uh, another hour or so, three or four hours if it's protein. All right, so now we've got our food uh, mixed and mashed pretty well from the stomach. So what I'm going to do is cut a little corner here and the food is going to be transferred now to our small intestine and large intestine. So to show that, I just have a, a glass with a coffee filter and I'm just going to pour the contents of the stomach here now into this coffee filter uh, like that. And when I do that, that's meant to represent some of the action of the intestine. What the intestines do is it filters out some things like water and nutrients, and we're gonna capture that in our intestines. But this is gonna end up being waste products. Things that do not get absorbed into our body will get eliminated as waste. So you can already see our uh, intestines are doing some absorbing. They would continue to do that absorbing um, for several hours to try to get as much nutrition as possible uh, from that food and then eliminate as little waste as possible. That little model just helps us kind of walk through some of the main parts of the digestive system and what it does.